We continue our reading of Lest We Forget. Today's reading, January 14, The Midnight Cry. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Matthew 25, 6. It was quite natural for Miller and his followers to find themselves attracted to Jesus' great sermon on the Advent found in Matthew 24 and 25. But the parable of the ten virgins found in Matthew 25, 1 to 13 especially caught their attention. They saw their own movement and message in the passage. In the process, they historicized the details of the parable. Thus they saw the ten virgins as humanity in general in its probationary state. The five wise virgins were believers in God, while the foolish ones represented unbelievers. The lamps were the word of God and the oil represented faith. The marriage for them was the focal point of the parable. That was the time when Christ, the bridegroom, would appear in the clouds of heaven. The marriage was the great event toward which all history moved. The coming of the bridegroom was the hope that motivated them to sacrifice their means to support the preaching of their message. The sleeping condition of the virgins for the Millerites indicated the apathy and ignorance of both Christians and unbelievers in the nearness and timing of the Advent. The midnight cry, Miller wrote, is the watchman, or some of them, who, by the word of God, discovered the time as revealed, and immediately give the warning voice, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. In other words, the midnight cry was the final wake-up call to get people ready for the arrival of the divine bridegroom. But not all would respond. Thus, as Miller saw it in the reaction to the proclamation of the midnight cry, would produce a division between the wise and the foolish, between those who accepted the message and got ready for the approaching bridegroom and those who kept on sleeping. At the second advent itself, The wise would enter into the kingdom with the bridegroom, but the rest, the door was shut. Miller saw the shutting of the door as the close of human probation. Thus the urgency of his message. People needed to be warned so that they could get ready for the event of the ages. That message is still of importance in our day. Miller may have been in error regarding the timing of the advent, But the second advent itself is still the hope of the ages. And the function of God's people continues to be to wake up sleeping sinners to the ultimate reality that our world will not last forever. This concludes our reading today of Lest We Forget.